A quarter century ago, Ron Springs was scoring touchdowns for the Cowboys, and Everson Walls was preventing teams from doing the same. Little did they know that their friendship formed then would eventually save a life, Ron Springs' life. I was a perfect athlete. I thought I was uh, in good shape. I would retired early at the age of 31, and at the age of 31, I developed type 2 diabetes. And now, just months after Springs' successful kidney transplantation from Walls, the two Cowboys legends have a new calling. I feel good that uh, I was able to at least uh, extend someone's life and give it a quality of life as well. Uh, Ron has uh, looked better, he feels better, his spirits are still intact, and that makes me feel good every time I see him. Everson and Ron now are on a mission to help prevent chronic kidney disease and educate others about the living donor process with their Gift for Life Foundation. Now that I've received the Gift for Life, it has made me an excited new man because I've, I've suffered enough. Now I feel very good about myself. I feel very good about other people having the opportunity. And that's why we started the Ron Springs Everson Walls Foundation for us to go out and get people aware that they can donate and help other people. According to the Southwest Transplant Alliance, there are more than 69,000 people in the U.S. waiting for kidney transplants. If people want to help, they can uh, get in touch with the Ron Springs and Everson Walls Gift for Life Foundation at www.giftforlifefoundation.org. The two Cowboys who once shared a passion for football now share a passion for helping others. And in that effort, they will remain teammates for life. Joe never made a play. Uh, come close to making a play on the field. Yes, Everson. That could even approach uh, what this is all about.